Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Android app development for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can use intent service class to create our services. Now, the good thing about intent service class is that we can handle different requests in a asynchronous manner. And how it does it? It creates a worker thread to you automatically which can handle asynchronous requests so let's see how we can use intent service class to create our services i have this uh, button start service and stop service and i have this edit text as i have taken in the last video okay and i have uh, given a on click method here which is stop service for uh, stop button and start service for start button okay so you may not know these things by previous video now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to uh, my uh, java folder and here besides my uh, main activity dot java class i'm going to create a new java class and this java class i'm going to call it as uh, for example my service and click ok and it's going to create our my service class and this uh, my service class we are going to extend with intent service class okay and it will give you uh, this red bulb here that means we need to import this class and second we need to implement a method which is called on handle intent method okay so we need to overwrite this and one more thing it requires is you need to overwrite the constructor okay so you need to create a matching super for constructor okay and this takes a string which we are going to give as a thread name so for example, I'm going to delete this uh, argument in the constructor and I'm going to give directly the name to my thread. You can give any name, for example, my intent thread or intent service thread, whatever you wish. And inside your on handle intent method, you can perform a long running task. For example, waiting for uh, something to happen or uh, you're in a long while loop you can perform this long running task inside this on handle intent method right so i'm going to write a code which i've written in the last video for waiting for 20 seconds so if you don't know this code where this comes from it comes from the last video uh, where i was waiting for 20 seconds right in a synchronized manner but you need to notice here that i'm not uh, adding the self stop method which i have uh, done in the last video this is because uh, this intent service is able to handle itself and it's able to stop itself when uh, the all the works in the thread are done right so we are not adding the stop self method here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, these two methods which are called on start and on destroy method. So first of all on start command and second method was on destroy. So on destroy. Okay. And in here what we can uh, do is we can start our service or we can display the message that our service has been started and in here we can uh, display the message that our service has been stopped okay so i'm going to add these messages here one is for starting the service i'm going to add the toast which will display this message and second is to destroy the service okay so we know that our service has been destroyed Okay, now uh, once everything is done, what you need to do is you need to call these uh, this class and these method in your main activity.java class. But notice here that this name we have given, this name, we can see the description, name used to uh, name the worker thread 
important only for debugging. So here you can give uh, the name to your uh, thread uh, according to your uh, you know needs or requirement, right? And what this uh, intent service class is going to do is whenever you want to start a service, it's going to create a special worker thread to handle your request asynchronously. So you don't need to explicitly define the thread which we have uh, done in the last video to handle the asynchronous request. So what we are going to do now is we are going to go to our main activity.java file here. And in our main activity.java class, we are going to uh, make our two methods which are start service and stop service for our two buttons for starting and stopping the services, right? And in here, inside the start service method, I'm going to create an intent. Intent is equal to new intent. And first argument is this, and second argument is the class we are calling, which is my service dot class. Okay, and we can start the service using start service method and pass the intent in it. And the same thing we are going to do in our stop service method for stop service button click event. And instead of starting service, this button will stop service. So call stop service and pass this intent object here. Now one thing which is remaining is we want to call our service to our manifest file. So go to Android manifest.xml file and add this service element here. Okay, so service and your service name which is my service and close this service and we are going to add this exported android exported false okay so android exported is equal to false okay and now we are going to run our app so my app is running now so i can start the service by start service button and i can see this message service started and at the same time i can insert some text inside my edit text input so both tasks are handled parallelly, right? The starting of the service, which is waiting for 20 seconds and the entering of our text inside our edit text, okay? And you can destroy the service by this uh, stop service. So once again, start service and destroy service. So the service will be destroyed from here. So in this way, you can use intent service class in your Android app. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and bye for now.